Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl, oh I mean it was Oru aka Miss Fia Fuckald, but I'm back for all oh, entertainment. If it's the first time joining me on this video, welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe, now when you hit the bell, I absolutely love you. Now my ninjas, of course you guys can see the setup is different. We're actually in my car today, honey, okay? And the reason for that is because my helper is actually at home and uh, she's like doing laundry, cleaning and everything and I'm like, bona girl. I am not even going to disturb you. I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to take my car and we're going to go out and actually get some coffee as I basically gossip with you guys. So, yes, we have to do it. Today, we're going to go ahead and start off with Bushira who... I was just not in the mood for Bushira, I won't lie. I was just not in the mood for Bushira. But Bushira will make you be in, the, in his mood. Whether you like it or not, Uzoba corner. Because that is who Bush Bush is. <laughs> When I spoke about him and I said bush bush, some of you were like bush bush, yes, it's bush bush, bushir bush bush, you know. But anyway, guys, uh, there's a woman that is out here, and I will go ahead and say allegedly, but I believe her, you know. Um, it is alleged, or she is alleging that uh, Ubushiri was out there trying to basically date her. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you guys her name, and her name is uh mabote okay she is a woman that is from or oh, let me say a young girl that is actually from lesotho if i'm not mistaken and um she came out with voice notes she came out with messages she came out um with everything to basically support what she's saying because you guys know i'm not gonna call them zombies but i'm gonna go ahead and just say that you know that level of mind control is out of control like i can just tell you guys right now because i was actually there it's it's a certain level of brainwashing that i've never ever experienced my whole entire life it took me some time to have to forgive myself as you guys know um i still cannot go to church because of all the chanted that actually went down so what i'm gonna do is that i am going to go ahead and just place the audios here and i'll be back with the rest of my commentary said if you didn't want to come not what you what you're doing what am i it. doing wrong uh okay so i had given you the number that's an agent it's not like someone i talk to no you know at my status i can't be talking he's an air agent so i told you i said you will be talking to him and you'll be confirming it to me when you are coming you said okay i have told him of this date i said fine no, i told I him go. no i sent him details that's what he asked me mm -hmm. details right and he was supposed to like send me everything right mm -hmm. he didn't do that and that's what i'm telling you now i am saying that he's a flight agent it is your duty and responsibility to ask him to say uh, is it done simple as that i thought uh, he's the one who's supposed to tell thing. me how does that work though it doesn't work like that in the world a flight agent is a flight agent you are the one who you contact the flight agent to say is the ticket done sometimes maybe they, they delay a little bit maybe they're checking if there's space in the flight or something so you 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 are the one who talks to them that's why i gave you his number so that you talk to him not me okay so i thought i thought you'd be telling me like okay he's saying this or he's saying that it's full or he's saying it's dead no. you're the one supposed to be the thing is checking. he asked me my details and never replied so that's why i was like maybe he didn't find a slot or something i don't know no no i'm just saying that it is you who's it's supposed to me. be like i didn't know i was supposed to be like that I'm not here. Uh, since he said he should give me the details, you know, just you to say, the, um, is the ticket ready or what's happening with the trip? That's my dear. Come on, my dear. That's not difficult. <laughs> but still, I still blame him because he was supposed to respond. Yes. I don't know where you are. I was supposed to respond or what? There was no anything to respond. You you want to send him my details, that's it. Yes, which I did. 
Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That you, why, why, how do you blame someone who who is a business person in town? <laughs> he doesn't even know that actually he's doing that ticket for for me. Like you're my V. He doesn't even know. He just knows that. He just. Are we going to be going to church and stuff? Uh, it, it depends when you're coming. If you're coming during the week, mm-hmm. definitely I'll just, it means we'll go together to the lake because I'm, I'm having a project there. So it means we'll be together at the hotel near the lake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'll come next week. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. He delayed everything. When do you want me to come? Uh, when you are free. I just don't want to be like I'm pushing you or anything because I didn't like you. You see? Mm. I didn't like you. And you don't force you don't force a relationship with someone. Yeah. Hello? Fine. Yes, I'm fine. Ah, uh, your, your flight, you want to fly from uh, Abaron or from Jobeg? From Abaron. Okay. Ah, uh, the Wait. flight from... Wait. Hello? Yes. Uh-huh. I've changed dates to the second. Okay, can you write? Just write me the dates. And then, okay, I'll type them second to yeah. the seventh. Yeah, just write the departure date and the return date. Mm-hmm. Okay. Please. Thank you. Then I'll yeah. check. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Oh. This coffee is super hot, hey? So you guys obviously had that, right? Then, um... She actually came out with the audios to support what she was saying, number one. Which obviously were phone calls. You could hear Bushir actually saying that, um... Oh, a man that sounds a hundred percent like Bushir. I'll go ahead and say that. The man sounds like Bushir, so I'm gonna assume. Because I know like some legal impl- implications, but do I believe that's Bush Bush? Yes, I do believe that's Bush Bush. Do I know his voice? I know his voice. So he's out there basically saying that, oh, you know, you have to come. They're even talking about church, which I wouldn't know, like which other, you know, Bushiri um, would be talking about church and doing projects in Lakey and whatnot and whatnot. I don't remember there was a ninja that actually came to me then and commented basically under one of my videos where I was talking about this uh, uh, scammer prophet and she was saying that, hey, you know, my mother still even goes to Malawi. I don't know what to do. She loans money and does everything. Um, she still believes that this man is a man of god now for first of all obviously and i think that one of the things that broke my heart was the fact that she was saying that she got sexually assaulted in that church sorry um but her mom still basically goes there which i don't understand if it's a matter of her mother just does not believe her or what um but obviously my ninja if you're watching i am really sorry i think that maybe you should show your mother this video you know show your mother this video show her all the proofs that are there maybe she can have a change of mind one thing i can tell you guys is that now i know a thousand percent that she am i queen do i like i am telling you right now that 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 i'm telling you right now that that man is not a prophet you know that's me shame i am not even going to lie so obviously you guys know as i said i'm not gonna call him his zombies but his his people have started someone commented left a very silly comment yeah yo i just yo guys Huruhana is a problem shame but i was just like what so basically this person said you can't keep a good man down if he likes her it's okay what we show off he is a prophet and we love him (laughs) 
you cannot even go to a store and buy this level of stupidity shame but again it's not stupidity guys it's mind control and it's brainwashing i really do hope that people that are under that man's grip will be able to get um you know will be able to actually like have enough strength to actually leave it's not easy whatsoever because especially for us as black people let me tell you why these prophets or these false prophets um they actually win when it comes to this it's because as black people guys who are so rooted if you find a person that is rooted in their ancestors you are not changing them if you find a person that is rooted in god you are not changing them and so somehow there are people that have actually said that okay fine you know god has now sent bushiri you know to be the prophet my prophet in this time because obviously you know back then they sent jesus christ and he was the prophet and so now it's like they've sent the likes of bushiri um that you know obviously now he's gonna be the the, the prophet and so some people feel like breaking away from bushiri and the church it's them breaking away from god and i do hope that one day people are going to actually get it to say that these niggas are not even connected to the god that you think most of them are not one man of god guys that is a married man is out there talking about flying a girl a child even i i would say a child in terms of like she's young man she's young like if she's not even i don't know how old she is but she looks very very young you know like what kind of a man of god a prophet of the lord a prophet that says she does not say that this one is the wrong one that's where you pro like that's where the proof is right there go to his fake is his focal because if he was a prophet then god if, if, even if let's say maybe god was like okay you are human right and the people that will say but he's human okay let's say you are human but you mean to tell me guys that like god is not gonna tell you go to, okay my child but there is actually wrong this one will expose you you think really guys like god was not going to so if there's anything that i can go ahead and just tell you guys right now is that are you going to answer you i see there's another branch out i just won't say which apostle it's under but keep keep branch on air bushiri if i'm not mistaken the guy and his wife they they broke away from bushiri but i guess hunger is hunger mtakaba they went back and then now they're here in south africa they are having i don't know if it's a home cell or if it's a branch but guys when i tell you the speed at which this thing is growing and mind you guys and don't enjoy love with fake pet it's all just fake i hope god can just come and punish everyone that is actually Telling people's money is in vain. Lying and claiming Ukuti like, oh, you know, um, you are actually oh, sorry, this thing, yo, this is so hot, eh? Oh. I don't know why it's actually leaking. But anyway, I do hope that God will just come back, guys, and just punish everyone that is out there. Chowing people's money is lying and claiming, oh, you know, we're from God when they know that they're not. Because you will see them by their fruits. They don't have to tell you what you mean, I'm this type of a person. Their fruits must tell you the type of person that they actually are. So how is it that Ubushir is now going to take money out and pay for flights? and also give this girl money and mind you guys that is money that your mothers are out there busy loaning saying we're giving to god do you know how sad it is like it is so sad it is so so sad i shame it is so sad and i think we i do hope that you know those that are still under this man's grip you guys can actually wake up okay you guys can actually wake up this man was not only accused of sexual assault by one woman this man was not only accused of of money laundering this man was not only accused of um um kind of what was that like uh, stealing money from people do you guys remember that time when they were like oh you know do forex you're gonna win this much you're gonna make this much blah 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 not win but you're gonna make this much back hey hey this and this hey they made it seem like oh the prophet sees the market and that's why he's so rich he's a rich businessman can the we were the business in Dagabawa. the people were actually the business that's where the money was coming from after that what did he do took the money shibubonke the private jets the, the sparkling waters and stuff like that and so now after they arrested him for him to actually pay for the crimes that he committed okay like bonam dagaba we also the announcements that were happening in church and everything so 
the only part that we cannot talk about i don't know is the money laundering part i wouldn't talk anything about that but the other stuff okay and also the sexual assaults i wouldn't know obviously it's alleged but the money is that people were supposed to pay guys little now if we were rich at that time we we're gonna have been scammed if i had money lean i'm sure they would have scammed me over a hundred thousand at least now i was only scammed by my fourteen thousand but leon if you count transport and everything going to just stupid nonsense one on one <sighs> let me not get mad but what i'm going to go ahead and say is that if you do not wake up you're on your own like god is not going to leave his throne and come to you to your house and say yo that man is not a real prophet he won't but if all these things are coming out and you guys even have access to internet you guys are able to see this but you still kumerezi where have you ever seen a prophet of god or jolang a machizo a prophet and that person is a real prophet and if he's doing this to her how many others do you think it just so happened that she was just this this girl she even actually brought out like proof where bushiri actually contacted her with his verified account and what she did was that she took a screenshot right she screen grabbed where you could actually see like bushiri's account she clicked on it it went there it was bushiri's account and she says that she was actually having problems with her boyfriend so when bushiri came in she was like your papa will help me with my dating problems which again if you guys are still out there praying for men go and start a business mundagaba okay it shouldn't be a priority shame i'm telling you because those answers are very difficult to to answer because everyone has got their own free will right but anyway we're not here we're not there all i have to say is that if you are a bushirian maybe you need to sit down and start reevaluating. you know start reevaluating and ask yourself why is it that so many people that are around him they break away most of the times when they come back is when you see that they were actually struggling financially on the other side the things that go in inside that church the ubungola guys that go the things that i found out for me to leave yo as i said i'll never talk about them because i value my life i want to be alive so y'all leave me alone i will not say anything but yay i shame 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 yo but anyway go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation do you believe um obviously the voices the voice is there um you know the messages are there and then after that you could see that the first screenshot that the screen grab that she made you could see the messages where bushiru was sending and then the next one you could see that the messages had been deleted now unfortunately for him facebook is not like instagram so instagram if you unsend um it, it unsends everything and so you don't even see that there was a message sent however facebook once you delete it is it does actually alert you to say that message deleted so hey i guess shame i won't lie must be strong must be strong but like must be strong if when i like right now you feel that you know because one thing i can tell you guys is that as i said i've been in that church i know the type of teachings that they used to teach i wouldn't know now but i would assume it's still the same mind controlling mind wiping nonsense okay um basically if you are out there and you feel that your tithe every month you have to give right find an orphanage find an orphanage find a cause that you believe in it can be a place where maybe blind people are at it can be a place where maybe you know it's motherless children that's a very soft spot for me those are mostly like you know the organizations that i lean towards you know motherless children or orphans basically um you know go to orphanages you know those children deserve it more than this crooked bushiri or the way that we've heard right so take your tithe and 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 take it there do that for six months and girl you've been tithing go bushiri for the past how many years do that for six months every every month take your 10 percent go and give it uh, to the orphanage every month when you go to church still continue to go to church if you want to give money give money but not your tithe take your tithe to an orphanage or a cause that you believe in um where needy people are at and then come back to me after six months and tell me what are the changes that you've seen in your life you will be so blessed some of these people guys they are only taking your tithe and they're blocking your your blessings you will not be blessed by god how is god going to bless you when he knows the moment i give you one million how is 
how do you expect God to bless you when he knows that your money is going to be taken and used for evil take your money to an orphanage you know go then give them times have changed guys times have changed for you to know who is a real man of god it's like f getting a needle in a haystack like that's how bad it is so i shame now on lie guys i'll shame <laughs> and some of us have gone through it shame that is why even now i'm still i still don't go to church but i'm about to change that but whatever church i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to a church high chances are it will be a white church and there won't be any fire fire miracle this miracle this no it will just be that it's a service i go there they preach we saw we sing we pray i come home who box that dead devil for 10 hours in the church i'm no longer doing that nonsense because that's not even a matter of they care about my spiritual life it's a matter of they want to keep me longer in church so that i'll be able to buy food in church which goes back to their pocket i'll be able to buy books and buy their stupid nonsense oils go back to their pockets and then on top of that they're gonna now be able to guys he used to call on seed a billion times after you guys have given uh, 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 uh you know offering you guys have given tithe there's now seeds and those seeds are different today if you want you know if you want to seed to the prophet go and seed hashem you will see us yo mara now i've suffered running there to give money well no i was broke most so i didn't have money like that so at least i know people back here were guys back here were like people <laughs> when he sees today the seating was not too much the tithing was not and i mind you guys these are millions we're talking about nothing to play you know he will now stand and say i want everyone to come and sit put that money on my feet <laughs> it's a new level of grace yo guys you will see our grandmothers our mothers the whole service out of 10 hours if you see eight hours you're busy giving two hours is the one that is gonna come you heard it even in the voice note at you know now i arrive at 10. he knows what they have collected when he goes there's going to collect maybe give you semonyana for like you know an hour or two based on how many whatsapp messages were sent to say hey how many people are, guys no, let me not talk too much but basically what i'm just simply saying is that if you're still being chowed your money by these fake prophets by these fake pastors you deserve it especially if you're a ninja one thing about me i would just laugh at you because you cannot know me and i and think would now i would actually advise you wrongly like really are you serious all these evidence that are coming forth against him this is a fugitive at this point he's a criminal he's a man that got arrested and then he ran away from the law they still are, are following him to malawi now even an audio is here they are still saying that he's a he's a prophet a prophet the gaban who's prophet is he a prophet of god is he a, a prophet of who but anyway, go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation. I wonder what his spiritual father, uh, children are going to say. Especially these ones that have got branches everywhere. One thing I can tell you guys is that when I was still in Free Day and there was the, the home sale, there was an apostle, apostle, fake apostle, that was brought in by an associate pastor. An associate pastor. And um, when he came, the guy now he wasn't like doing i think anything with his life he had five kids if i'm not mistaken and a wife unfortunately his wife passed away um but you know what happened guys the shocking part angry he got close to my ex and also like we were all there you know the things that men would say about bushir yo <laughs> so they all know they just will not say you know he was even discouraging ah you don't even have to send money there what we need to do because everyone guys what's for the money you are the money that's why they need you there but if you're there to just give your money hey there's nothing wrong if you want to make bushiri rich you can go ahead and do that but if it's a matter of you're there because you think uri you know i'm here because of god i'm here because god uh, just walk away shame because god is not there in my opinion 
not the God in heaven that is there. Because if it was that was the case, and the way that he pretends and acts like he's someone that is so afraid of God and everything, he wouldn't be doing the things that he's actually doing. But anyway, go ahead and comment down below, my ninjas. Let me not talk too much. And I will definitely see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.